People make art for a lot of different reasons. I think they do it for reasons of concern, reasons of uh, something personal to them, reasons of you know larger debates. But usually, it has affected their lives in some way. And there's this controversial thing that makes people kind of excited. You know, it gives them this like sense of like you got involved with with this crazy gang. The project is to create these panels, 13 panels for the MS-13, the 13 is really symbolic to them. So I wanted to put that number in, into the show. And so essentially we're going to build these 13 7 foot by 4 foot panels approximately. They're going to take the imagery, the imagery of their tattoos, and hopefully through the interviews and through meeting some of the, the MS members who are heavily tatted, I can photograph or draw or use their tattoos to create the panels. He's always so excited about his next piece. It's easy to get caught up in the momentum of it and the enthusiasm of it and forget the reality of what you're doing. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of the reputation of the gang, the facts of the gang, really, and how dangerous any sort of interaction with them could be. The next process is going to be taking those panels, making molds of them, either fiberglass or silicone molds of them. And the final step is to pass human cremated ash into them. Now with this MS project, I'm facing a whole new set of uh, dilemmas. I probably need 500 pounds to 700 pounds of uh, cremated ash. I don't know why I do this. I don't know. Options are you suck it up or say it or not do it. Let's do This is fucked up. <laughs> Using that imagery. He doesn't mean any disrespect at all. I think, that if anything, he, he's probably exploring all sides of this more fully than anyone. But this has always been his idea. This was his idea from the beginning when he first told me about it. He was like, I'm going to use human ash and I'm going to the gangs. I'm going to meet gang members you know, whose personal stories I can use. You know, he thought it was the best, the most respectful way to do it. What happens, you know, with making the panels is that obviously I feel a little bit removed from the process of what's conceptually happening with the piece because you're in sort of fabrication mode, you just sort of go, go, go. And I think it's crucial that I make sure that a portion of these panels get made with with the with the gang members. It's a whole different world. So just to see it and talk to them about it would be I think complete the project in my mind. The MS-13 gang, they are a terrorist group. Here we at this time are engaged in the war against international terrorists. They're a violent force in 33 states and counting. The most dangerous gang in America, MS-13. Living right dead center of uh, MS-13, 18th Street gang territory. The way you know when you're entering into the gang territory is right at the entrance of the neighborhood, uh, you're going to start seeing tags. That marking tells you that once we go into that neighborhood, that's MS. There is violence, there is a problem, there is, there is a loss by living this lifestyle. Because I believe that there's a reason for the behavior. The brutality!